What is up gamers? Uh, I wanted to make a quick video about Space Marine 2. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of lore and Warhammer details because I'm a gamer, especially when it comes to co-op games. So I wanted to put out a few things that are really making me excited and I think you, should, you guys should know about it. So first things first, um, uh the game is basically developed by Saber Interactive. Now, the one thing that I can tell you about Saber Interactive is they made another game using the same engine that they made this game on. It's called the Swarm Engine, right? They made World War Z based on, you know, on the Swarm Engine. And the one thing at the very least I can tell you is basically when playing World War Z, the, the thing that blew me away was hundreds, if not thousands of enemies present on the screen at the same time at a single given time. And the game also gives you the right tools to deal with it, right? Like hundreds and thousands of enemies. Now, why don't we get that in a lot of other games is because you're gonna have performance and stability issues fps drops and all that kind of things but i don't know i think that's the magic of uh, the swarm engine that it allows you to have like huge humongous like huge hordes of enemies to fight on the screen at the same time so this is what I'm expecting from Space Marine 2, as already said by the devs, that you're gonna see, like, you know, they, they are using Swarm Engine and you're gonna see a lot of enemies. Uh, the second thing that comes to mind about Saber Interactive, and speaking of World War Z, is that World War Z came out in 2019. And that game is still going strong. It's getting constant updates, it's getting uh, co content drops, it's getting uh, basically uh, bug fixes and, you know, constant support, even in 2024. So I think that should tell you that we're in safe hands um, and Saber Interactive, basically they support their game. So speaking of Saber Interactive, the publisher is Focus Entertainment. Uh, another game that reminds me of Focus Entertainment is... There are some places in the universe. I've got movement. I've got movement, I've got movement. You don't fight alone. Aliens Fire Team Elite. Now, there are a couple of similarities that I want to mention about Aliens Fire Team Elite. And so, the, the first of all, Aliens Fire Team Elite. If you haven't played that game, I would highly recommend that game as well. Go uh, check out that game and you know play it with your friends. Because if you want crisp gunplay, like really satisfying gunplay, highly in-depth classes or class systems and the builds builds for those classes basically the build potential when it comes to classes and perks and customizing the way you want to play a class uh even customize the weapons that's another similarity i'm seeing in um uh what's it called uh space marine 2 so uh i've already seen that you can customize your weapons even you know things like fire rate magazine size reload speed and so that reminded me of uh aliens fire team Elite. i really hope the gunplay is that crisp because Aliens has just spoiled the gaming experience for me. Any game that I play now is just like, you know, every you know, you know that thing, everything reminds me of her. It's basically that kind of situation with me. Because I just can't seem to enjoy any game. Because the gunplay in Aliens Fire Team Elite was just sweet. It just hit the right spot. Um, and the build system and the build depth. So that also follows for World War Z. World War Z also had a very good build system. Now, the build system that we're seeing in Space Marine 2 is somewhere between Aliens Fire Team Elite with the weapon customization and the perks of the classes and the class synergies coming together. Go and do check out World War Z and Aliens Fire Team Elite if you haven't already. Third thing is basically the combat system, especially the melee. It's reminding me of, you know, another very famous and just amazing sweet shooter game. Doom, basically the Doom games, you know, the Doom 2016 and the Doom Eternal, especially because I played Doom Eternal a bunch. Now, when it comes to melee in, uh, Space Marine 2 and what we can see so far from whatever is revealed by the devs officially is uh, there you go you see that melee finisher glory kills now you see where I'm trying to go with this all the best bits and pieces of the best shooter games out there huge swarms huge number of enemies World War Z um, swarm engine really in-depth build system with class specific perks and build customizations and different playstyles within the same class and weapon customization not just visually or just cosmetics but even the stats from aliens fire team elite and world war z and what else 
Doom Eternal like glory kills and finishers, which is not a bad thing. In fact, it's gonna play a huge role, which was also there in Doom Eternal, which is like melee kills and glory kills is, are gonna uh, they're gonna basically replenish your uh, armor, which we have already seen in the footage that uh, or the the already you know the the content we saw on YouTube uh, already explained by the devs is that you know melee is a huge part of the combat, and in order to stay in the fight last long in the fight is basically you gotta mix up between your guns basically the gun gunplay and the the melee combat because meleeing is gonna regenerate your armor another mechanic like i said from doom eternal uh, uh, so, so let's talk about the movement now right when it comes to movement like being like two and a half meter whatever like however tall the space marines are weighing over 400 500 pounds wearing all that armor the way the movement feels like is also reminding me of another very cool game gears of war right if you've played gears of war one two three four five whatever um which is obviously again not a bad thing gears of war has been like a cult following it's a great game another great game so like i said taking a lot of boxes which is good so gears of war is basically you know the movement itself the the character basically is you know th there's a difference between gunplay melee combat and character movement itself um so yeah you could say world war z aliens fire team elite doom eternal gears of war now finally the one thing i want to emphasize before we end this video is basically another game in the warhammer franchise dark tide now what the devs has devs have already told us uh, that there's going to be a story campaign, basically a campaign, you know, uh, which you can do as a single player, like do the full story campaign, or you can play with up to two friends, so three players in total, and do a co-op story campaign. So, I think when it comes to replayability, you may do the story like you know, start to finish once or twice, level up, unlock the cool gear and the cool shit. Uh, experiment with the different setups and builds and all that and then replayability for me personally comes from bumping up the difficulties because when you bump up difficulties the game totally changes now you need to be tactical you need to communicate you need to um, fill a niche or a fill a role everybody needs to do something because you get different enemy types right you get stronger armored enemies elites so somebody who's coming to deal with the big boys is going to deal with the big boys someone who's there for just crowd control or utility is going to do that someone who's just you know there to demolish like a huge number of trash enemies or just the mob enemy enemy mobs he's going to do that so gameplay basically changes on higher difficulties that's my two cents get a couple of hundred of hours from that uh bumping up the difficulties unlocking the cool gear and the shit and everything but the one thing the devs have already revealed apart from the pvp mode which i don't give a shit about because i used to be a league of legends player and i've had my fair share of uh pvp toxicity enough said so uh i'm more interested in the pve part look at that boss man. all right so yeah uh the operations mode i think it's gonna be randomly generated maps which will give you a ton of replayability if it it's anything like whatever like dark tide right dark tide when it first came out it was shit not gonna go into a lot of detail the build system just didn't make sense gunplay was like man it just felt like a replica of vermintide but fast forward like you know beginning of this year or like end of last year they did a major overhaul and the game is just you know in a very sweet spot right now and it's just very addictive um so yeah to give you an example of randomly generated maps is but when i say that what i mean is basically you know dark tide if we have something similar to dark tide where we get multiple you know random objectives random um, mission modifiers uh basically randomly generated maps in short it's gonna give you a shit ton of replayability so with that being said i, I i'm really excited i'm looking forward to this game you know just look at those cool scenes yeah look at that swarm so let me know in the comments down below which one of these things you uh basically had the same idea about it and which inform piece of information that i gave you was kind of new so uh and with that being said Again, I'm no Warhammer expert or nerd, but when it comes to gaming, I am a very, you know, I love gaming basically, and especially co-op uh, uh, shooter games. So once the game comes out, uh, expect to have build or me combat mechanic breakdown videos from me or my channel. 
um, or if you're looking for you know different ways to play the game, that's that's my jam basically, and that's what I'm gonna do with uh, the game and uh, those kind of the those kind of videos are what you can expect from my channel. And with that being said, sorry for because I'm rusty. It's been a long time since I made a video. Uh, if you managed to watch the video so far, thank you so much for being there, and I'm gonna see you guys with the next one.